Well, turns out I just like talking about them video games. I really love. So, see my first vlog if you haven't already. And again, here are six video games I've really come to love. Venturing out into the wilderness and discovering something not quite expected. Firewatch. It is beautiful. In almost every area you come across, it's screenshot worthy. The story is great as well, from the witty humour and wonderful interactions between Delilah and Henry. To the mystery that while ends up not being quite satisfying, makes sense for it to be so. And it's not, in my opinion, what brings down the game at all. I have encountered a few odd bugs that happen sometimes, like picking up an item and throwing it down only to see said item is clipped through the terrain and you can't pick it back up again. Climbing down a rope and you will see the back of your player model. And also at the end I looked over to see the big plane that flies overhead just hovering there. So yeah a few odd bugs but nothing too much and overall this game is still worth playing. On to the next one. More is said about a person through their possessions and what surrounds them, and this game definitely shows that. We don't travel far, but we travel deep to find stories. I am dead. I found zooming into every item the game allowed, peeling back the layers to see what's inside, fun. But it did become tedious for finding the Grand Kings, where you have to get it just right. At its core, I Am Dead is a hidden objects game with a unique way of doing it and has a pretty art style and cosy music. The locations in I Am Dead are brimming with life and every character is sweet. On to number three. A pixel of crafting horror, The Last Door. A simple yet captivating episodic point and click adventure, inspired by HP Lovecraft. The puzzle side of this game was mostly inventory based, but aside from that, the atmosphere, music and story all hold up. It didn't rely too much on jump scares to get across its horror, but when it did present them, they never felt cheap and were woven in well. On to number four. Before Teardown came along, there was another game I was spending a whole lot of time with, Stardew Valley. I have a layout to my farm that while not fully there yet is lovely to manage in. From my barns with cows, chickens and a goat, to my array of machines making things. It's a very relaxing one and with the many updates it's had, there's plenty to do. On to number 5. One that I've played fairly recently through Game Pass. Planet of Lana. A delightful puzzle platformer with beautiful layered backgrounds. That left me to just stop for a moment at times to take it in. 
The soundtrack is great and comes in so smoothly to go along with everything else. But it kind of reminds me of Pixar films with how the music just fits. And also you get to pet the small void that is Mui, which of course makes it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> 